cases where the cancer treatment has gone cold, doctors may turn up the heat on tumors. Ideally, for this treatment to be successful, we want the temperature to be maintained about 108 degrees, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And it's usually done in conjunction with radiation. It's called hyperthermia, which means a body temperature that's higher than normal. It also refers to heat treatment. Very high temperatures can kill cancer outright, but also damages normal tissue. So doctors are slightly heating parts of the body to help additional cancer treatments work better. The benefit of hyperthermia is that hyperthermia makes the radiation more effective. So we don't have to use as high of radiation doses that we would otherwise have to use to, to, re, to result in the same tumor control. The heat is delivered directly to the affected area by placing a liquid-filled bladder against the skin. We have different applicator sizes depending on how large the tumor is. So this is the medium size and this is our largest size applicator. Hyperthermia isn't approved as a curative treatment, but is meant to be used in cases where cancer has returned and it wouldn't be considered safe to go back and use high doses of radiation again. So we're able to still treat the area, but with lower doses of radiation and we still have the same effect as we would if we were to give high doses of radiation. Many breast and skin cancers are candidates for this technique because tumors are near the surface, making it easy to turn up the heat. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.